let's get started straight out by introducing this CD. I mean, you guys, what a blessing. We listened to it um, when we got it in the mail, when we got, came home from the trip, and the day we were doing it, it was raining. Mm -hmm. And oh, it just kind of just put a peaceful drive over in that storm. So it was beautiful. So tell us about the vision for the CD, how it became. All right, well, Gina knows I'm probably the one that's gonna do most of the, the chit chatting about this because it's, it's always been my dream since I was little just to have a CD. Now that dream and vision has changed since I've gotten older. Um, I've been leading worship for 10 plus years and God has just redirected my focus onto him. Um, and I've actually had the opportunity um, I don't know, quite a few different times to, um, have, a, have a CD of my own or to be on somebody else's CD and things just were not working out. And I, I still had that desire in my heart. I still had that vision. I still knew that that was part of my purpose. So I just had to keep relying on God and watching those doors close is very, very difficult. Sis and I, it had been, um, it had been asked if we, we wanted to be the first recorders in this new stu studio out in Wayne City, Illinois. And I was like, well, let me pray about it because <laughs> I knew that the doors had just been closing. And I figured if, if this was it, God, then this was it, open the doors. And little things just kept happening. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. It's not a big deal. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And then we had um, quite a few life changes on Father's Day. Um, a lot of doors closed. And uh, I felt, and I know Sis felt, though, we felt like a lot of things had just been taken from us. And it was really hard to know what God was trying to tell us. We had to walk away from where we were leading worship, not knowing where God was calling us. We celebrated Father's Day and I was just like, babe, I need to go take a nap. And so went and took a, a nap, even though I really honestly just wanted to go cry. Um, and so I was in there crying and praying and I literally out loud said, God, what do you want me to do? And my phone rang and I picked up my phone and I was like, well, that's weird. So, you know, really quick, try and not sound like I was crying. And I was like, hello. And um, it was Michael from the studio. And I was like, hey, Mikey, what's up? And he's like, hey, Jojo. He said, what are you and Gina Bug doing this week? And I was like, oh, not a whole lot. Why? What's up? And he goes, the studio will be ready Tuesday and we need you Tuesday. And I was just like, in my head, I was like, God, is that you? <laughs> uh, so we showed up Tuesday. We laid our own tracks, um, played our own music. It's just us and who we are, but that's how it came about. Uh, God just opened the door and I just keep telling everybody that his timing is so beyond perfect. I mean, for me to be bawling and asking out loud, I, I don't know what, what do you want me to do? And for my phone to instantly ring when I said that, that, that was God. That was nothing other than God. If you would have uh, pushed that aside, I don't know. That, that was a pretty big, hello, this is what I want you to do. <laughs> yeah. So did you already know what songs or that you wanted to have on here? I know you have a special one because, um, Gina wrote one of the songs on there that oh uh, yeah <laughs> so did but did you have an idea of what you wanted on the CD um back when we were asked um we were told about 10 songs mm -hmm. and it's kind of funny because we had we both I told her to pray about it and I was gonna pray about it and we both had our own lists and for the most part <laughs> they matched yeah. And so we knew God was just in, in all of it. So by the time that we were asked, we had it down. We just didn't know the order yet. Um, but we, we knew what songs by the time the studio was ready for us. 
Wow, that's awesome. How far in advance was this song written, Gina? <laughs> yeah, Gina. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, but I'd say at least a year in advance, at least. <laughs> did you, when you wrote it, did you have any idea that it was going to be on a CD? No, I thought I was just writing it for myself. <laughs> but God had bigger plans. That's awesome. That's awesome. So now when listening to it, Joanne, you play the piano. Yes. And then Gina is the acoustic, the guitar, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yep. And she's also the bass. Yeah. We went back and laid her on the bass track too. Awesome. So tell us about what it was like in the studio, because I know not many people have ever been into a recording studio because I mean, it's you and the microphones, you had your instruments there, but what was it like? I mean, I know what I felt when I would listen to it, but I want to hear what you felt in the studio before I say anything. It's completely different than, um, live. Th yeah, than live. Yeah. And that's what her and I had both been used to. Mm -hmm. I mean, we led worship and, um, I thought it was really cool at first cause it's not like we just went in there and played and sang and it was what it was. Um, we basically made our own soundtracks. So the first couple times we were in there, we played, I played the piano, she played the guitar and we laid those tracks. And once we were okay with those, then she would go back and lay the bass track with that. And once we had all of our soundtracks done, then we went back the following week and laid all of our vocals. It was really funny because we both lead and do harmony and when you lead or when you follow live, like if she was leading, I could be like, mm, and find my note and bring the microphone up and be fine. You could not do that. Yeah. It picks up everything. It picks up like if your stomach is growling. Yeah if you, which that did happen, and we had to cut that out once or twice, um, but it was just a completely different experience, mm -hmm. but it was so much fun learning something new, and how things work, and just having fun with it, yeah. and there were a couple of songs that we were very, very comfortable with, that it was just like, I, I it was hard for me to even look at her because there were a couple times I was just in there with my hands up and just, just going. <laughs> I could feel it. I felt that you were, you were leading me into worship. Which, I mean, on many CDs, when you get it, it, I don't want to say it's entertaining, but it's kind of that, you know, that fluff and it's not giving you that actual invitation to come into, to worship. And that's exactly what I felt. And I was telling her, I was like, Oh, you can just tell they're, they're, they're worshiping while they're doing this. And it really was. And I said, what a perfect CD, um, for someone to have in their morning time to get them into that, into that worship stage, um, music for me, that is my, where I go to get into my, into my zone. And, uh, but you guys, you led us right there. So I want to thank you for that, to being open because it is difficult, you know, because you have all these other outside things going, but to just be anointed and let, let God, you guys really did that. In my opinion, it was amazing. Well, thank you. And that was kind of our vision. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't want to be like that. I call it the in your face worship. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We, this is just more us, the acoustic and the, that intimate, worship. That's just what God laid on both of our hearts is just a true intimate worship, sit at his feet in his presence. And, um, I, I'm glad that that's what you got out of it because yeah. that's what we have been praying for. <laughs> I, I, I really felt it. So now what's next? Uh, well, <laughs> that we're not really sure. Um, I do know that we've both decided that we're not making money whatsoever. We're just recouping and our money from what we paid to have them, the CD done. Um, and anything that we receive above and beyond that 
is in a separate account and it goes 100% back in straight back into ministry. Um, and I've just been telling people, you know, if God calls us to go sing at a church or, um, which I've heard that in the works a few different times, there's a, some people down um, in the Carbondale area who I guess have gotten a hold of our CD <laughs> and are going to potentially be getting a hold of us do a little worship concert. So yeah, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> yeah. I mean, that. so either way for right now, anything we make is all still God's. It's, it's not ours. Um, and we just want to give back to him. We just want to bless people. Um, we want to take it outside walls of our church and just, just get his, get his word out there that, you know, it doesn't have to just be, well, I don't know any other word for it other than, you know, the, the fire, hell, hell and damnation that you can still be intimate with him and worship him, um, in your home, in your car, you know, and so to just get that out there and outside the walls of the church is our goal and to just bless people. How can people get the CD? The easiest way is to go to our Facebook page. We actually have one for this specific CD. It's Joanna Klein and Gina Louise. Um, and on there it states, or we have the links for our Venmo and our cash app. Um, so they could just click on one of the links and send us the money and then they can message us on the messenger on their, you know, their address, um, any specs that they want. I mean, on the Facebook page, it says how much they are, how much it is for shipping, um, things like that. So that's the easiest way to get a hold of us. What would you say to somebody who's on the fence about picking up the CD, but sees this interview and they're interested? What would you say to them about the CD? Well, I will put it like this. I am not one that I am going to push my faith on you if you're not a believer. However, I do have um, a family member who he has come to me and said, how, why do you spend so much time doing that? Why, why are you worshiping? Why are you going to church? What if there is not? What if, you, what if there's not? My response is, well, what if there is? Mm -hmm. There is, there is nothing to lose. Like, there's but everything to gain and so to just sit and listen and just see if you feel anything you know it can't hurt anybody and if for some reason you're not blessed i can guarantee you that you can probably give that cd to somebody else and they'll be blessed mm -hmm. so either way i just say get it and if it doesn't bless you then pass it on to somebody who it will bless that's awesome i like that so, I mean, we're mother daughter, you guys are mother daughter. So how cool is that? Um, and I'm the talker to Gina. So yeah, <laughs> this isn't really my thing. <laughs> you no, know, you're good. I mean, you, your words, your heart. So, um, and it's what number is it? I can't remember. Is it number nine? Number nine. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, so people who are watching this number nine, that's Gina's song that she wrote. Amazing. Beautiful. So a beautiful mother and daughter duo. Um, God is going to use you guys. I know your mom is a sparkle. She, I mean, meeting when we met her, I mean, she is a sparkle for Jesus and just, I mean, she is amazing. Yeah. So have you put it on radio? Have you offered that to any local radio stations to play it on? Not yet. Um, I've thought about it. I just have to, there's legal things behind it to where I would have to pay licensing fees for them to be able to do that. And I haven't figured that part out yet. I've figured it out to the point where I'm at because <laughs> I've also had a lot of people ask, are you going to put that on Amazon or Spotify or what I think CD baby or something iTunes. and iTunes. Um, I can, but I haven't figured all of that out yet. So this one, I think that we're just going to have a CD and then I'm not even going to say if I'm going to say when God calls us to do another, then we'll do our best to have that be able to be digitally downloaded. Awesome. And somebody watching the video 
right now might be being led by God to um, bless you guys with licensing fees. So right now I just kind of feel that they're probably, I don't know who and when, but they're going to be watching this video and they're going to reach out to you guys and say, I want to help you further your worship because it touched me. So um, I know it's going to touch yeah. the others. So, um, but we yeah. thank you so very much for joining us today. It was so fun. And um, we're going to keep worshiping with this CD and we can't wait to hear what the next thing God opens the door for you guys with. Amen. Well, thank, thank you guys. guys. It's been fun. Okay. We've enjoyed awesome. ourselves. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.